What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mohawk Motors. My name is Jason. Super exciting day. I am at the point that it's time to get the engine in the car. I'm going to install the engine and the transmission together as a unit. My new BMR K member finally, after three different K members, they finally managed to get me the right one. So my new BMR K member, my headers, I'm going to get those assembled onto the engine and then get this engine installed in the car. I am super pumped to finally see this thing in that engine compartment. So, got the engine lifted up with the hoist. First thing, I need to get the uh, stands bolted to the engine. These bolt in where the original motor mounts bolted. Now, the instructions to the BMR cross member are online. And the way they say it to do it is, the longer stand goes on the driver's side. So if you line them up at the bottom, you can see the tube on this one is longer. So I'm assuming that's what they're talking about. I'm just reusing the stock motor mount bolt. Uh, I mean, if GM thinks they're good enough to last indefinitely, I don't see why they wouldn't be good enough for this. Okay, there we go. So the next thing I'm gonna do Get the actual K member itself loosely bolted to the engine mounts. Uh, there's it's just a nut at the bottom, and it works like any other bushing or anything like that. The instructions say just do these finger tight to allow a little bit of movement. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's got those finger tight. Now, the not really tricky part of this is I want to get my headers bolted on and I also want to get this thing sitting on dollies. So I'll need my big dolly and a smaller dolly, one under the K-member and one after the tail of the transmission. So hopefully, I should be able to pretty easily roll this under the car. I hope. Well, I looked at it, it turned out I only needed one dolly, which is excellent. That gives me, makes it a little bit easier to move around and gives me a little bit more speed, space to move around it. Get the chain off. And then I want to get my headers put on also before I put it under the car. I think it's going to be easier to get those headers on now than it will be once it's in the car. And I can't think of any reason why I would need to take the headers off from this point on. They, uh, I mean, they should be staying on there. So, I'm just reusing factory multi-layer steel exhaust manifold gaskets on this. Uh, I am putting new exhaust manifold bolts into it, but they're just they're Dorman stock replacement exhaust manifold bolts. Nothing special, guys. Rebuild, gasket rebuild in a can. I already did one coat a couple days ago, so I'm just doing a little bit more just to make it tacky. There we go. All right, folks, nothing special here. These are just uh, Amazon pace setter headers. Uh, they have inch and three quarter primaries. I have to put the, the uh, 
I'll add the cost of them to the to the running tally, but I think they're like 300 bucks. They're not not crazy expensive. Uh, I just need them to get me through the summer. They're painted with paint. It even has a sticker right on it that says it's not high tech paint, so expect it to come off. I'm fine with that. I literally just need it need them to route the exhaust gases until next summer or next winter rather when I turbo this thing. These are just Dorman stock replacement exhaust manifold bolts. Ah, the dolly's in the way. Darn it. So I just jacked up on the back of the transmission a little bit. Give myself a little more room. Yeah, that did the trick. As always, team, start them all before you tighten any. Factory spec, 18 foot pounds. There we go, do the same thing on the other side. under the car. Uh, I wound up, I put a little 2x4 spacer at the front and the back so the engine sits level on the dolly. That should make it easier for me to get it lined up, uh, get the K-member bolts lined up under the car. And I'm going to put this engine in the same way I took the other one out. Lift the front of the car using the engine hoist, roll this under, and then very, very slowly lower the car down over top of it. It's in there, ladies and gentlemen. It fits. It fits tight, but it fits. Now it is. It seems to be a little tighter to the uh, to the passenger side than to the driver's side. I'm wondering if I got those. Uh, motor mount stands switched because the instructions do say that if you switch them it shifts the engine over towards the passenger side and it really couldn't go any further to the passenger side at this point so and I have lots of room on the driver's side so I kind of think I might have accidentally gotten those things on the wrong side those headers are, are I mean less than a less than a quarter inch from the frame rail. So I'm going to have to see about that. Uh, 
it's not that big a deal. I can just lift the engine up and switch them side to side if I need to. But before I do that, I'm gonna get some of my other components in. I'm gonna get my front brake lines put back in where they go, and I'm gonna get my uh, steering rack put back in where it goes. I see also underneath the transmission cross member is different. So I'm gonna to have to get a correct transmission cross member. But I mean, it's in, it's in the car. This is where I needed to get to. Now I can keep moving forward. So let's keep moving forward. All right, everybody. So I went ahead, I switched the two motor mount stands and that got the engine, you can see now, much closer to centered in the engine compartment. I also got my front brake lines put back on and the power steering rack. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is get my, uh, my front control arms and my front suspension assemblies put back into place. So I've got this side completely reinstalled. Uh, suspension all hooked up, steering hooked up, uh, everything where it belongs, all the electrical connectors hooked up, brake line hooked up. This side, driver's side is good. I didn't get to the passenger side yet. I'll have to do that next time I'm out here. Uh, but we'll get that hooked up and then we'll work on getting the, the fluid systems bled, the brakes, the clutch. Oh, and we'll probably start getting the, uh, the fan, the radiator, all that stuff back in place too. So progress. All right, everybody. I think I'm calling it for this video. I've been out here just plugging away at stuff. A lot of things match up. Some things don't, but I've gotten pretty much everything back together that I can with the parts that I have. I'm still, again, waiting on some parts and pieces to get here. But let me show you what, what I do have done. So I have the engine in the car, it's sitting on the mounts on the K-member, the steering is all hooked up, all the plumbing except for the fuel is hooked up, brakes, power steering, uh, stuff like that. I do need to get an upper radiator hose and I need to get some heater hose. Uh, but everything else is plumbed back up. I've got all the front suspension back in place, bolted in. On both sides. I've got the radiator, the fans, the AC condenser back in place. Serpentine belt is hooked up. Um, pretty much all of the, the major components are in. Now I'm waiting on transmission cross member. The T56 cross member is different from the T5 cross member. So I just ordered an aftermarket T56 cross member. Um, like I said, I need to get an upper radiator hose. I need to finish up the wire harness. Uh, for lack of a better way to say it, it's a pretty in-depth uh, rework on the wire harness. You're going to see two videos on that because it's just too, in too much information for me to get into one video. And then, man, after that, it'll be uh, fill it up with oil, fill the transmission, and then get fuel plumbed and get a first start on this thing. So it's getting really close. Uh, hopefully by, by this time next week, I'll be able to get this thing started up and I'm really looking forward to hearing that. I hope you guys are finding this educational. I hope uh, if you're gonna be doing a V6 to V8 swap in a Camaro, this helps guide you through. And I will add the most up-to-date project cost here at the end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. And until the next video, take care.